Good morning, happy Monday, happy new week. 27 weeks and five days today. My face is getting puffy. I've noticed that my nose looks even bigger. <laughs> Apparently that's really common in pregnancy, but yeah. 27 weeks and five days today and had my baby shower yesterday. Last week's vlog was a long one and it ran from like mid-October, uh, mid we're not even in October, mid-August I think to now beginning of September um, and there were a few little clips of my baby shower in there but I will pop some in now while I'm talking just to remind you um, but yeah I've got a few things planned in this week. I've got my whooping cough jab tomorrow um, and then a growth scan and a midwife appointment on Wednesday when I'll be 28 weeks and officially into my third trimester and I'm gonna put baby shower gifts away now so I thought you might want to see some of them. We were spoiled rotten by um, friends and family yesterday. I had to like condense everything into a few bags because I had too many um, and these were the cute balloons that my mum got for us so I've brought those home so we can enjoy them for a bit longer. Ooh, it's not fun being sat on the floor right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to go through stuff today and like separate it into categories I think and start putting it away um, so that the room stays nice and organised. Um, look at this box that my mum's best friend gave us her gifts in. I think we're going to put it under the crib if we can with like nappies and wipes in that we've bought so far because we don't have that many. Um, these are all things left over from the shower. My mum made me this badge. These were the cake toppers and this was the little label that was on the um, basket that the sweets were in. So of course being a scrapbooker and documenting everything I've uh, brought those home with me to keep. I'm going to do a memory box for the pregnancy I think or for like her first little baby things and the pregnancy. Um, so these will go in there. But yeah I'm just going to start categorizing stuff and like putting it where it needs to go so cute so we've got like bibs and this is all from um my mum's best friend and her two daughters and they also got me this which i'm so excited about it's a, a wrap a stretchy wrap with rainbows on it i can't wait to carry the baby around when she's here My organising didn't go that well, but um, I've got like books and book related things here. Some nappies there, nappies and wipes there. Um, a few little bits for me. One of my friends got this gorgeous like scented candle with a personalised sticker on it, which is just so, so cute. Like how adorable is that? And then my best friend, one of her gifts was this mum's one line a day five year memory book which again is so cute so you can write like a little line in there every day hi everyone happy tuesday it's another beautiful sunny day and i'm off to get my whooping cough vaccine um it's 20 to 2 um and i've literally only just done my hair and makeup i have been dressed but i've only just done my hair and makeup um to go and get vaccinated against whooping cough which is something they recommend to all pregnant women i'm a bit nervous because putting anything into your body when you're pregnant is a little bit scary isn't it but um yeah it's strongly recommended so i'm gonna get it and i've got a growth scan and um a midwife appointment tomorrow so i hope i don't like have a reaction or feel too rubbish tomorrow it's not a live vaccine i can't have those anyway 
um because of my medication um and they always say like oh it shouldn't give you flu symptoms but actually a lot of people do get poorly after any sort of vaccine because your immune system um is responding to it so i'm hoping i don't feel too bad so i'm gonna get the vaccine and then go to sainsbury's and pick up some paracetamol afterwards to take um and like to take this evening and tomorrow morning to hopefully like head off any reaction um but we'll see i'm out of breath and i haven't done anything Okay, it is December daily release day today and I'll be totally honest with you, I'm not a huge fan of the products this year. Um, I was going to treat myself to the main kit but it's just not my style, it's not really my colours. Um, there's a lot of blue and like oranges and stuff in this year's uh, designs and I'm just not really into it. I do like the mini kit. I do like a couple of the albums, so I'm I'm deciding what I'm going to buy. But basically, I'm going through my Christmas box, my like stash of Christmas things that I have to see what I have that might match the mini kit. Because the problem I'm having is that the mini kit is similar in colour to like some of the older crepe paper collections that were released at Christmas. Um, and this is the colour palette that I like to scrapbook with for Christmas. So I either like just traditional Christmas colours, like the red, green and gold sort of thing. Or I like this sort of colour palette with like the pink thrown in, that sort of thing. Um, whereas, like I say, a lot of the embellishments and the main kit on Ali Edwards' site this year, um, they've got lots of blues and oranges and like there's lime green as well. And I'm I'm just not into that. So... Um, I do like the mini kit, like I said, it matches this sort of colour palette, but none of the embellishments that they are selling like as add-ons match this colour palette really. So um, I'm going through my own stash to see what I've got that might match, because if I don't really have anything, then there isn't a lot of point in me buying the kit, you know? So I'm just having a look through and I have a bunch of random stuff. I've got this whole kit that I bought last year and then never used. So maybe I can sort some of that out and see if any of it matches. Um, but the thing is, I think I used um, most of... I think I used most of what I bought last year. So I don't think there's really going to be anything in here. But I also haven't come across a bunch of other December daily bits that I know I had left over. So what have I done with them? Um, hmm, this is annoying. I, I know that I definitely didn't finish all the stuff. So now I've got to try and remember where I put it all. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I think I found the stuff think this is the box that I had everything in last year yay here it is okay so I do still have a few little bits left this 
is the envelope that the mini kit came in last year so i've still got some phrase stickers i've got a few trees got a few puffy stickers some tab stickers okay so i've got a few bits left that are nice like neutral colors that i can get to match i've got two of those tags left not sure why that's all torn up <laughs> um and then that falala will match okay okay we might be getting somewhere guys i might actually have some stuff that i can pull out of my stash to um to work with here aha got some of these three by eight journal spots still well i've used most of the journal ones but i've got some of the like solid ones left i'm actually i saw that these were still on the website in the sale section i'm hoping that we might be able to add those to our box um for december daily these are from the kit last year oh i've still got still got this which i could do something with got a few papers okay so it's looking like if i ordered the mini kit and maybe just a few embellishments i might be able to make something with this okay okay cool that's 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 cool hello everybody update time um margot's chewing a stick why always a stick dogs shouldn't have sticks by the way just in case anyone didn't know they are so dangerous okay stick removed all the dogs are inside we are going out in a second so i'm just locking the doors um, yes, update time. So I have not really filmed this past week, obviously. It has been so hectic. I've had so many appointments. It's actually ridiculous. This week alone, I've had my whooping cough jab, 28 week midwife appointment, 28 week growth scan, um, my glucose tolerance test to test for diabetes and um, a an appointment with the obstetrician. So like the pregnancy consultant to go over everything. Um, at this stage of the pregnancy and um, it's been really busy so I just haven't really filmed anything and also I found out this week that I'm quite badly anemic which makes a lot of sense because I've not been feeling well and that's another reason why I haven't been filming because most days I like don't have the energy to get up and get dressed and ready to film I just don't and I'm also like spending a lot of time just sat doing nothing because I'm so tired. So again, nothing to film anyway. I have some sad news. Yesterday, one of the bunnies passed away, Pumpkin. I have no idea why. She was fine the night before, went out to feed them yesterday morning and she had passed away in the night. It's quite common with small animals. She still had uneaten food there. So I'm wondering if she suddenly developed like a tummy issue in the night or something, I don't know. Um, it seems like whatever happened was very sudden so i'm sad and i only have one rabbit left now <laughs> so for the first time in 11 years i only have one rabbit left which is really strange um but yeah it's like the end of an era because i won't be getting any more after these probably not until like our children are a bit older um so yeah it, it does feel like this era of my life is coming to an end um with the bunnies um but in much happier news and i'm only comfortable sharing this because i know this video is not going to go up for at least another week um my brother and his wife had their baby friday night um and so we're actually going to see her now that's where i'm going but um yeah so excited to meet her it's absolutely wonderful i've had to come and sit down in an awkward spot on the armchair because my arm was hurting me so bad holding the camera but um yeah it's it's crazy that she's here i can't believe she's born and in the world now it feels like another step closer to our baby being born as well which yeah it's just it's amazing like that she's here and that hopefully um our little one will be here safely in november as well um and it's I, didn't re I don't think I really spoke about this much at the time because I was in a very dark place. I don't think I was really vlogging 
much at the time anyway and um, it just didn't feel right to talk about it. But when I found out that they were expecting, we were only eight weeks post miscarriage. In fact, it may have even been less than that. And when you looked at the dates, they had sort of like conceived around the time we'd miscarried. And so it felt like the universe was punishing me. I'll be totally honest, like that's how it felt. Um, I was happy for them, but simultaneously, like it was one of the hardest things I've ever been through. And it really just felt like we were being punished by the universe. And it it feels like now she's here and like we're expecting again as well. And like, I get to meet her today. It just feels like all those emotions sort of coming full circle, you know? So I think it's gonna be quite emotional. Yeah, but it's amazing news and we are so happy. And I can't wait to meet her and give her a cuddle today. So this is everything I've got to go in, Ryan and Ella's gift bag. It's mainly for Ella, to be honest, because obviously she has just had a baby. Um, there's a few baby bits but mostly snacks and stuff. These are some Halloween pajamas for next month in the next size up. A little elephant wash mix, Ella loves elephants. A fancy hot chocolate bomb and some hot chocolate sticks, sweets, biscuits. Um, this I thought was a good idea. It's one of the like thermal water bottles. And I thought if she's feeding or like just sat on the couch cuddling the baby for a long time, she can make a cup of tea and keep it warm in there. Or she can have a cold drink and keep it cold. I think she's probably already got at least one of these bottles, but I figured you could never have too many because obviously they're not going to want to be washing stuff up all the time. Um, so she can have a couple on the go. Will bought the Zoom to the Moon book because he got one for our baby as well. And then today I picked up this cute little ribbed um, sleep suit in zero to three. It's like super autumnal, so I thought that'd be cute for next month. Cozy socks and some under eye gel masks. Um, yeah, they are masks, aren't they? Under eye gel masks. Um, but the sleep suits by Rabbit and Bear um, in TK Maxx. And I know that she really likes that brand. So hopefully she'll be chuffed with it. Hello, everyone. Um, it's been a couple of days. I think the last time I spoke to you was when I said I was going to see my new niece. And she is just absolutely perfect and beautiful and my brother and sister-in-law did actually announce her birth and her name on Facebook and Instagram and they did put a picture of her up so um I could share that her name is Thea and she is gorgeous and I'm so grateful to have met her and had cuddles and everything on uh, Sunday and then after that we went to Will's parents house um, and had dinner with them which was nice um but uh, Monday I wanted to film uh, but I went out for most of the day with my mum um, we went shopping and we went somewhere a little bit further afield so that was really nice and made like a nice change and we picked up a few bits I got some maternity clothes that actually fit me um, and a few bits for the baby and stuff but um, on the way home we picked up my nan and took her to visit the new baby because my brother texted us and said oh do you want to pick up nan and um, bring her around to meet Thea so that's what we did and when I got to their house um, when I went to the toilet I realized I'd had a little bit of uh, bleeding touch wood like nothing significant but enough to obviously concern me this far into the pregnancy um, so I then ended up in the hospital on a monitor um, for a little bit of the afternoon slash early evening um, just making sure that everything was okay and again touch wood like it seems fine um and they gave lots of like possible explanations for why it might have happened um so i just took it really easy yesterday literally did nothing um today i've got up and put some washing on um tidied up a few bits and now i'm just gonna do some crafting for the afternoon so that i feel like i've done something um slightly productive even though it's only me that cares about it you know so um yeah I'm working on volume two of my childhood albums I finished volume one um a couple of weeks ago now I do want to film a flip through of that for you at some point um but yes yeah, so I finished volume one and now I'm on volume two um volume one 
goes from birth up to age 13 and then volume two goes from age 14 to 17 um and I was just flipping through it and honestly a lot a lot of volume two is um the rabbits I scrapbooked about the rabbits a lot back then apparently um but yeah so I'm going to do some of that today see how much we get done and um who knows maybe I'll even wash my hair later so that I can stop looking like this oh I'm just I feel like somebody's completely drained my battery today that's how I feel just shattered but yeah so this is where I'm starting with this album there's a few pages that were already completed that were ahead of these and then this is when my sister got married I was actually still 13 um in these pictures but it's okay if it's a little bit out of order and then that's my mum's 40th birthday and stuff so yeah I'm gonna do a bit of this today it's a few hours later now um but in about an hour and 45 minutes I've managed to finish this album and because this one is so old like the layouts in it and stuff are so old and I don't like the majority of them um, I won't be doing a full like flip through video of this album so I thought I would just quickly show you some of the bits I did um, but these pictures were from my brother when, I, when he was little and that painting's from him as well this was for my 14th birthday so it's slightly out of order because this is my sister's wedding and I was still um, 13 at this point but only by a couple of weeks um, but yeah so this is where I started and I literally just did minimal um, embellishment little bit of journaling about a few bits and bobs as you can see, there's literally no embellishment on that page whatsoever. I'm very much of the opinion now that done is better than perfect. Um, and it's all like mixed in together. So like this, uh, these were some school trips that I went on around that time. Then we've got my auntie's wedding and then um, some pictures of my nephew when he was little, brother's birthday. These are all like really random photos that I just sort of, if, you know, I've inherited from my mum or from random places and I've put them in as best, like in chrono chronological order, sorry, as best I can. Um, but yeah, this was my 15th birthday. I had another nephew born. My other sister got married. Um, that was a singing thing I did. These are all layouts that were done a super long time ago. Just noticed that's fallen, so I need to stick that back in place. That's just a blank page there and then here's some pictures with friends and that's it so that's everything I did today all those pocket pages I'm going to stick this back in place now and then put it away but it feels so good to have another album complete I've now got two albums to work on plus a couple of creative journals so I've got my Disney album and my 2021 project life but my Disney album, all the papers and everything are in there ready to go. But I haven't actually started the album. So I could just leave that one if I want to. Um, but my 2021 album, I definitely want to get done. Um, but yeah, so happy to have another one ticked off. Hello everyone, sorry I'm so far away from the camera, maybe when I edit this I'll zoom in so I'm not so <laughs> far away. Um, it's Tuesday today, the 28th of September, so it's quite a long time since I filmed anything for this vlog. I've filmed a couple of like standalone videos, um, a few of them haven't gone up yet, a couple of them have um like my second trimester q a and everything um but yeah i haven't filmed anything for the vlog in a while i had about a week where i felt really poorly um i mentioned i was put on iron supplements for anemia 
and they just messed me up i was so ill um for literally about a week vomiting upset tummy just felt so poorly and um it was all the same symptoms that i had when i was taking prenatal vitamins in the beginning of the pregnancy so i'm pretty sure i've established that um certain supplements just don't agree with me at all um so i'm now on quarter of the dose that i'm meant to be to try and help my body tolerate it um but yeah that had me feeling really rough for about a week so i didn't film anything and during that time i had a couple of like bad mental health days as well because i just felt really low like from feeling poorly and just been quite lonely like even with will working from home um i can't like go and bother him all the time because uh, his job's quite demanding and um even with the dogs as well like I, I just felt lonely and it's exactly what i thought would happen as soon as i wasn't at work anymore um i knew that just being stuck at home would affect my mental health and it really has and it's not as easy as just saying oh we'll do some crafting or do this or do that it like it affects your motivation and everything as well um, and i have such low energy levels at the moment with being um so far along in pregnancy now too and the anemia um that i just i didn't want like i wanted to do something but like couldn't muster up the energy or the motivation to do it which then made me feel worse sort of thing so i had a bit of a rough week with that um the only update really is that we did also have a 4d scan of the baby when i was 29 weeks and three days i think we went for a 4d scan at window to the womb um we didn't get massively great pictures or video because um she was head down with the cord over her face and her face was like squashed right up against my hip and like the front of my abdomen so like her little face was all squashed um and we couldn't get pictures of like any other body parts or anything because she was just in such an awkward position um but we still did get a little look at her face which was really special um so hopefully you'll be seeing a little clip of that video now um or some pictures um and yeah other than that i don't have like anything to update you on <laughs> at all it has literally been just like getting through the day i've seen some close family here and there like my parents my brothers and um ella and the new baby um i've seen them a couple of times but other than that i've not really done anything i did uh wash all of the baby's clothes though ready to put away properly in her drawers again um and i filmed a little clip of that so i will pop that in today we are washing baby clothes. I don't know whether to stick with one age range to begin with. Um, Cause this is her newborn and up to one month stuff. Those are all just hats and stuff, but this is like newborn up to one month clothes, newborn sleep suits and vests. I don't know whether to stick with age or just wash everything that's the same color. Hmm. Okay, so it's hours later now. I've had a busy day of trying to get bits done around the house, but I've done two loads of baby washing and it's all crammed onto the area. I thought it would all fit a bit better than this, but um, turns out there's more clothes than I thought. thought. <laughs> um, I've separated it into size because I'm just particular like that. I'm trying to make it easier for myself when I put it all away. Um, this is all newborn and up to one month then there's like zero a few zero to three month clothes and then these are all zero to three month sleep suits all of her vests are down there as well like little body suits and then there's muslins all over the house <laughs> that i've also washed and so i've just got one load to do tomorrow and um, which is all of her like blue green and gray stuff and then it's done so that's exciting and I did do all of the shopping for my hospital bag as well. And I have packed my hospital bags now, but I filmed a separate video about that. Um, so that will go up at some point, probably after this video, I think. Um, so yeah, I've done a few baby related bits, but the plan for today, oh my gosh, my throat. 
I'm not poorly or anything, I don't have a sore throat, it's just I'm so used to not talking now because I'm like not around anyone that when I talk for longer periods my voice just like cracks. But yeah, the plan for today is actually to put all of the baby clothes away in the nursery again. Um, I had done like a trial run of how I wanted them to be when we set the nursery up originally. Um, with the drawer organisers I like had a go at folding some of the clothes to like decide how I wanted them to be. I think I could have done with some different drawer organisers to be honest, it's not really maximising the space but for now I think it will be fine. Um, so I'm going to put all those away today and I'll bring you along with me. Um, I'm going to be on my own pretty much all day, to, well yeah all day today because Will has gone um, into the office today. Um, there's only like one office left for his company or two offices left. They've sort of like moved their workforce permanently working from home now, which is like candy for us, especially with a baby coming. But um, he's had to go into an office today and it's a really long way away. I think it's like nearly a two hour drive away. So he had to leave super early this morning at like 7am uh, to get there and he'll be gone until like early evening and then he's got football training tonight so I will just be on my own all day so I deliberately saved myself the baby clothes to do today so that I'd have something fun to do and I have a midwife appointment at half past three so yeah I am looking like a scruff today I've got my joggers on as always and just a t-shirt but I am 31 weeks tomorrow so here's a little bump update 31 weeks tomorrow baby girl is growing away margot and winnie are asleep downstairs but archie is my permanent shadow <laughs> and i cannot ever escape him he follows me everywhere don't you you love your mummy do you love your mummy <laughs> i love you your hair's over your eye. Oh. <laughs> you want to go to sleep? I've had to turn this around and take down a few decor pieces that have got her name on them. Um, but the nursery is looking super cute at the moment. I can't wait to film a proper tour of it, but I don't think it will go up till she's born. Um, still need to put away these bits from my baby shower. But yeah, so... When I washed the clothes, I just threw them back into the drawers um, to save it for today so that I could have fun today going through and folding them all again. Um, there's still some on the error, so I'll go and grab them and then we can crack on. I've just grabbed the last load off the error, um, which was all her like darker coloured stuff, like blues, there's some green, um, purple there. And then I washed um, all the new vests I bought. When I um, did the washing, I realised that um, I didn't have a lot of vests in um, like newborn up to one month sort of size. And my like by the time I put stuff into my hospital bag and had like a spare vest in each of my like nappy caddies around the house and all that sort of thing there would be like none left in the drawers <laughs> so if I if they were all in the wash and I had run out I'd have nothing to put her in so I just thought I'll go and buy some more so I just bought a pack of three newborn which are these three and they seem tiny so I don't know if she'll even fit into them um, and then a pack of up to one month and these are just from Primark but they're so cute and there were seven of them in the pack in all different colours so I thought that was cute um so yeah those can be put away as well there is a little bit more space in my drawer organisers um now because I've packed my hospital bags and there's a selection of newborn stuff in there so I've got um newborn here and then up to one month here and I'll see if I can fit them all like in the right drawer organizers but if I can't that's really not a big deal <laughs> I'll just mix them like they were before look at this I can't remember if I showed you this it says little sister on it because I want to get a picture of like me holding her with the dogs sort of sat around me 
in a little sister um baby grove for the dog's instagram which i know sounds really silly but i think it's really cute and like could be quite special and um also she's a rainbow baby so she technically does have a little sibling somewhere in the universe whatever you believe i'm not sure what i believe really but um yeah she's our second baby technically isn't she so she is a little sister but yeah cute I feel like, oh my goodness, she's moving so much up here right now. <laughs> um, I feel like it must just be me, like, being an idiot. But everything seems much harder to fold this time. And everything's, like, coming out much bigger than it did the last time I did this. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but it's really, like, winding me up. <laughs> I don't know why I'm, like, getting it so wrong. But, yeah, everything is just not folding. The way it did last time and everything seems absolutely massive which i like don't really understand that's a bit better i don't know what's going on here <laughs> Right, there we go we've got newborn up to one month um and then i've got all the bits in my hospital bag as well so i have got some more in these sizes and um i want to get her some like christmas sleep suits in up to one month so when i get those i'll just turn that one round and like fill the other side because you can squish them up but yeah that's sleep suits now this is vests and i've only got this little basket for vests and there are few little ones in here some of them are for like putting under a romper or something for cute pictures like this one that is super creased um and then others are like just proper sort of functional vests you know so my plan is to have some spare ones probably these newborn ones in my nappy caddy around the house so i'm gonna leave these ones out i think there's something on them and then put the rest in here and like roll them or something maybe got really dark in here all of a sudden because it's raining outside um but yeah so that is her newborn and up to one month drawers um it seemed like a lot of stuff when it was like on the era after washing it but it's really not um she really doesn't have like loads of stuff at all i want to get some christmasy bits because obviously she'll be um, a month old at christmas but i wear christmas clothes all the way through december so i wanted to get her a few bits as well um, and then there's some socks and tights and scratch mitts that are tucked behind there. So I might get a little um, mini drawer organiser for those. But for now, they're fine behind there because most of her clothes have um, feet and scratch mittens built in. So she won't need them. But yeah, that is a newborn and up to one month. And now I'll do zero to three um, off camera so you don't have to watch it all. Right, I've packed everything away. So we've got the newborn and up to one month stuff. Um, newborn and up to one month clothes and all her hats. And then zero to three, I realised that annoyingly I didn't have, I still don't have a drawer divider or a basket or anything to put her vests in. So I've just quickly folded them for now, but all of her sleep suits are in there. And her clothes and like knitwear for zero to three are in there. Again, she really doesn't have many zero to three clothes at all, but I'm not bothered about that. And then I've put swaddles in there for now. Um, and I also um, sorted out my nappy caddies so that they are like pretty much done and ready to go. So this is going to be my downstairs one. Um, I've got nappies, nappy bags, a nappy cream just in case. 
uh, wipes, burp cloth, spare vest, um, and some muslins. And I will put a spare sleep suit in there closer to the time. And then this is going to be the bedroom one. Again, nappies, wipes, um, nappy cream. There'll be nappy bags in there as well, but they're in my hospital bag at the moment. Muslins, spare sleep suit, vests, and swaddle. And then my changing mats are just slotted in there, but there'll be one um, in my changing bag and then one downstairs. I don't think I'll bother with one upstairs, to be honest. Probably just change her like on a muslin if I change her through the night. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much done. There's also breast pads and stuff in there, but I'll also have snacks and breastfeeding stuff separately as well. I've got a little like rolling trolley downstairs, so that will have most of my stuff in. But while I was up here, I thought I would organise those as well. And then these are my hospital bags that I packed the other day. So I've got a suitcase of my stuff, changing bag of baby stuff, my nursing pillow, and then a pack of nappies. Uh, that didn't fit anywhere so they will have to go in with the bag of snacks <laughs> mm -hmm. 